grid customers can expect to be without power starting sometime tomorrow. Action News reporter Kyla Linville is here now with more on how that county is getting ready. Right, and actually the customers in this area can expect power to go off around 6 p.m. and will continue until around Monday afternoon is when power is expected to be back on and to help people get through the next couple of days. The county is working to set up a customer resource center and a cooling station. And we're going to be switching everything over to a uh, cooler in our garage and then running everything off of a generator. Whether you're preparing for PG&E's next power safety shutoff. It doesn't affect me, so I don't care. Or not. Residents in San Benito County can expect to be without power throughout the weekend. So there are select areas in San Benito County that will be affected. In more rural areas of the county, like Aromas and portions of San Juan Batista, including Chittenden Road down to the Santa Cruz County line. Other areas impacted San Felipe Road off of Highway 156 near the Pacheco Pass. County leaders are also working with PG&E to develop customer resource centers. PG&E will be providing CRCs that have bathrooms, light and power strips to charge your um, personal devices. And a cooling center with the same resources. Both locations will be determined in the coming days. Overall, it's important to stay prepared. Emergency planning, having their emergency kits at home with phone numbers, with medications, with food and water for 72 hours, and planning for their pets as well. Again, the county is still working to set up both the customer resource center and the cooling station, and they will have those details about times and locations tomorrow. And bring your patience. Yes, definitely. <laughs> All right, thank you, Kyla. <laughs>